The Sunday Yard Sale Boys, oh boys What was it? I locked it all up Locked up the car Hauled into the side of the road Put me signal light on And jumped out <laughs> I don't want to get too ahead of myself Let's start off this was a back about, I suppose, seven, eight years ago. It's a ritual that me and the wife had. Every Saturday and Sunday, we get aboard the car and we drive along and we look for yard sales. I mean, huh, like they say, another one man's junk is another man's treasure. And I tell you, I've found a lot of treasures over the years. Now the wife says it's all junk, but I don't mind. I don't mind what she says. It is not all junk. I had a lot of good use in it. Like the old kettle that I found one day. One day. Or the old flat iron that I found another day. Or the old bottle, the Pepsi bottle. I mean, who got a Pepsi bottle like that? You know? That's not junk. Or the lobster pot that I got in front of the lawn. And I got an old barrel cut in half in front of the lawn, tipped upside down, and with clay in it and flowers growing out of it. Is that junk? That's not junk. <laughs> Everyone loves it. But anyway, this was a ritual we had. Every weekend we get aboard the car and we drive up and down the shore and we look at yard sales. Anyway, we left one day, got up early in the morning, got something to eat, and I said, are you ready? Yes, she says. Well, come on, let's get aboard the car. We're heading to the yard sales. Let's see what we can find today. So we left, and we drove on down to where we used to start. We start down I suppose down somewhere around Topsail. We start down there. And we kept driving. And there was a yard sale in someone's yard. So we stop and we get out. The same old stuff that was there every other weekend. Nothing changed. Nothing new. I mean we've been there for the past three years. And they've been having yard sales. Nothing new. So we left that. We came on up a bit further. There he had a little yard sale down at the end of Fowler's Road. Used to be an old Irving there, I think. But that's where the had it. was all decked out, all tables. and you, you know, there was everything there. So we went in there and we saw old books. And we saw, what else did we see? You know, old dolls and, you know, crafts. Same things, you know. But uh, every now and then I, I come across something, you know. Like an old game. And what you want for that, I says. Give me a dollar for it. I said, I'll give you 50 cents for it. It's yours. See, that's what yard sales are all about. Bargain. I felt good. They felt good because they don't have to put it in the basement anymore. Everyone's happy. A win-win. The wife tags along. What are you going at with that? Never you mind. I'm put out the shed. I don't, my buddies don't have one. I'd be the only fella I got one. So I'd be happy. She left me alone because she knew I was happy. The one thing that made me happy. So we jumped aboard the car and we left that and came on up around. Crossed Manuel's Bridge, looked down through, crowd down swimming. Left her, left that, past Irving, come on up. Went for the. Cherry Lane up around there kept on going. And we got up so far as what? How far up? I suppose it was up in nice ways, up in Kellogg's. Come to another yard sale. Sure enough, jumps out. Brand new yard sale. Never been there before. Oh, it's old boy. Excited. So, stops the car, jumps out, looks in. I uh, had a look around, you know, there's wrestlers, old wrestlers, a box of Legos, someone had a squid jigger there, a few old bottles, like I said, Pepsi, but I mean, I had all those Pepsi bottles. And we walked along, a few records, a bit of clothes, we looked through all that, 
with a few old tools, an old drill, an old rusty saw. I mean, nothing that I wanted. So we left, and we jumped aboard the car. Anyways, we was driving up through. Got up to far up our gully somewhere, and we drove along. And then, all of a sudden, boys, oh boys, I seen it. There I was, stopped the car, haul into the side of the road, put the signal light on, jumps out, runs over. Something like I'd never seen before. What is it? I'm looking at it. What is it? The wife was lagging behind. I looked, I said, come on, come over, come over, come over, quick, 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 quick. So we gets over. And two of us staring there looking at it. So I'm looking at Buddy, walking around. And Buddy? Yep. Much debt. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars, I said. That's a lot. I don't even know what it is. The square box. Two holes in the front of it. You know, I'd say, what is it? What do you do with it? But it was metal. It was different. I never had it. The wife said, what are you going at with it? I don't know, says I. I don't even know what it is. So I looked at her. I give you $75 for it. No, nope, $100. I said, oh, he's a bargain. He wants to He wants to bargain. So with that, he's not going to take $75, I told him. I said, well, I tell you what. $80. $100. No. No. I said, I got $80 cash. He said, okay, yours. Good enough. I laughed and big laughs. I said, come on, we got to get this in the car. We got to get this in the car. So anyway, we piled it into the trunk of the car. Hauled the trunk three parts of the ways down. Wouldn't go all the way down. Hauled out a bit of rope, ties around the back of the trunk, down around the ball of the hitch, and up and around, and ties it on, and sticks an old uh, Dominion bag onto it. Off we goes to the house. Gets up to the house. Opens up the trunk, hauls it out, looks at it. Here it was, a square box. I could see it now, a red box. Two holes in the front of it. Almost like glass on top. What a deal, I said, I got here. What a deal. Plugs it in. I don't know what it was. I figured it was something used by, I don't know what. A doctor, for all I know, it looked like something you stick your hands in, Drew. Anyway, calls me buddy. Come up, I got something bad. Come up, I got something bad. So within a half hour, he was up. Have a look at it. Sure enough. I said, what do you think it is? He said, what did you buy that for? I said, what do you mean, what did I buy that for? It's different. I ain't got it. I never see it before. And what you pay for it, eh? I paid $80 for it. You paid eighty dollars for that? Oh, yeah, somewhere around there. What do you want as junk? I said, What do you mean this junk? Hey, you got one? He said, No. Well, I said, There you go. He said, Do you know what it is? I said, No. He said, You want me to tell you what it is? He said, Yes. He said, That's a sandblasting box. I said, A sandblasting box? What's that? Dynamite. No, he says, Not dynamite. A sandblasting box. He said, you know what a sandblasting box is? I said, no. He said, you want me to tell you? I said, yes. Tis a box, he said. You sticks your two hands in there. If you've got something that's rusty. You sticks your two hands in there. And you plugs it in. And it sprays sand. Like, like sand. And it cleans the rust. And makes things shiny again. Happy. I said, go on. He said, yes, boy. He said, what's the good of that? He said, do it work? I said, I don't know. He said, let's plug it in. So anyway, plugged it in. He said, you got any sand? I said, no. He said, I got a bag of sand down the house. He darts down to his house, brings up a bag of sand. He throws it in, plugs it in, sticks the two hands in there. Sure enough, there it is. 
It's gone. It's gone. So I looks around the shed, and I find this old rusted piece of angle iron. So I sticks it in there, and I'm looking down through. Plug it in, says I. All right, says he. I said, flick the switch. All right, says he. On it goes. Boys, oh, but shiny. Shiny. Never seen nothing make anything so shiny before. So I looked at it and I said, oh, what's wrong with that? He said, I wouldn't have it. I said, no, but you'll be looking to use it one of these days. He said, probably will. So anyway, getting back to it. There it was. One of the best finds, one of the best treasures that I've ever seen was what I found that day. A sandblasting box for $80. Where are you going to get one of them at? You're not. So anyway, I takes us a little bit of surface rust on it, so I paints it up, sticks it up in the corner of the shed. There it is. And like I said, one man's junk is another man's treasure. So there we have it, folks. That's the story of yard sales. That was one of the most memorable yard sales I've ever had. And till this day, that's our ritual. Me and the wife, every weekend, we'll jump up, we'll head off to the yard sales. Anyway, so that's Sunday story. Cheers. <laughs>